Hi, I'm Tyson with Adventure Rig, and it's finally starting to cool off here in Colorado. However, the sun is still shining. Out here in Colorado, it seems like we get about 517 days of sunshine on average. So I find myself always wearing sunglasses. And if I don't have them on my face, I definitely have them in the car because when it's cloudy, it's not that long, it seems like until it's sunny. Protecting my eyes are the latest and greatest from Spy. These are the Flynn. Now you can see that it's this mono lens with an oversized frame. I personally got these more as a stylish slash lifestyle type of piece. I found that I was gonna be wearing them out on the town, in the car, that kind of stuff. But turns out that they work really well for a lot of different activities, specifically mountain biking. This is my go-to piece that I've worn a ton on the mountain bike. I thought that maybe they would fog up really easily because they're just so big and they cover so much of my face, but that hasn't been the case for me personally. I'm also excited to try them out in Baja. Callie and I are gonna be heading down there in another couple weeks where we spend about a month kiteboarding. These are gonna be my go-to sunglasses for kiteboarding as well. Again, they're just so nice and big that they're gonna keep a lot of that water from splashing into my eyes. So I'm pretty excited to try them out in that environment, but I don't think that they're gonna fail. I think they're gonna be pretty awesome for that as well. These are packed with a ton of technology that you've come to expect from Spy sunglasses. The frames are made of Gorillamid, which is an extremely tough material. It's something that you can easily drop, scrape against rocks, run over with the car, probably not run over with the car, but they don't break very easily. I've also been using frames made of Gorillamid from Spy for years, and I've never broken a pair or disformed them or anything like that. So I'm definitely a strong believer in that. The lenses that they put into the Flins are again, a happy lens. I'm not gonna go too much in depth on that. There's a lot of reading online. We've also put a link in the description if you'd like to do a deep dive. But basically, this is a polarized lens and everything is crisp, clear, and I don't have eye fatigue at the end of the day. Here in Colorado during the winter time, when the sun is shining and there's snow on the ground, that reflection, if you're not wearing sunglasses for me personally, it really starts to bother my eyes after a couple hours. So as long as I have a pair of sunglasses on like this, my eyes always feel great at the end of the day. Also again, down in Baja on the ocean, I'm gonna be loving these because I already know that they're gonna do a great job with the reflection coming off of the water. The pair that I'm wearing right now are the bronze with green spectrum mirror lens. This lens, like it states, is a bronze kind of brownish lens to it. For me personally, the sun right now is full bore. There's no clouds in the sky. This lens is just a little bit bright for me personally. I like this one if it's slightly overcast. It brings out a little bit more contrast for me but with the sun at its brightest, it's still just a little bit bright. However, for days like this, I have another pair. These ones are, as you can see, the Spectra Mirror. So this lens is a little bit darker and it's more of that blackish that you'd expect from a dark colored lens. I like to wear these when the sun is at its brightest like it is today. Also, as far as fit goes, I mentioned that these are a large pair of sunglasses. Now, my face is not a very big face. I have a 58 and a half centimeter nugget circumference. So if I'm wearing a helmet, I usually always wear a medium sized helmet. So I don't really have that large of a melon. And I still personally like the way that they look. Callie also can sport these. She's a little bit uncomfortable, I think at times, thinking that they don't look good on her but I personally like them a lot. She has even a little bit smaller of a face than myself. I also like the fit of these because they're nice and snug on my face. If I put my head down and kind of shake it about, they don't want to slip down, or if I start to sweat, again, they don't want to slip off. They're just nice and tight. Now, if you are looking for something with a little bit different of a style, you can look into the Flynn 5050, where the frame doesn't go completely around the lenses. I reviewed those ones last year, so if you're interested, be sure to check out that review as well. We have it linked in the description. Now, I do wanna mention that we are affiliates for Spy, so if you do use one of our links to purchase sunglasses, we do get a small kickback from that. And if you found this review helpful, please use the link as well as give us a thumbs up and subscribe to these videos if you are liking them. Again, these are the Flynn made by Spy, a pair of sunglasses that I found I can wear out on the town as well as out on the trails, and they do everything amazingly well. 
If you guys have any questions about them, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. Also, if you're wondering where we are or what we're up to, check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Adventure Rig. Thanks again for watching. I'm Tyson with Adventure Rig.